What is up YouTube? It's the afternoon. I actually just drove to this lake right after work. I only got about a couple hours to fish, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about one thing that I was using the last time I was out here. It's a lot windier, a lot more chop, and I was using this wobble bobber. It's got a it's got metal grommets, slides through the line, slides up and down the line really nice. But what I noticed when the wind calmed down and these crappie weren't hitting as aggressively as they were when I was fishing this with some minnows. I switched up, had to switch up to this pencil bobber here. And it's a spring bobber. And the one thing I noticed about the crappie when the wind calmed down, they were a lot less aggressive and they were starting to bite the lure with that negative bite where they come up from underneath the lure, they grab on and they keep rising up the water column. Now, something like this, you might be able to see it. Um, I couldn't. So I switched it up to something like this. This is a balsa wood pencil bobber. It's a little spring bobber. And I could definitely tell every time this, the crappie would come up from underneath and hit it and then just keep rising in the water column. The bobber would be sitting like this in the water. The water line would probably be right at that red mark and the bobber would just go horizontal or it would go cockeyed like that. And so that's what we're gonna use today. So the reason I'm telling you this right now is because it is calm. If you don't, there's not a whole lot of wind around me. And so we're gonna be using this today. And we're also going to be using these, some good old crappie nibbles. Yep, some Berkeley Power Bait. I've used these a couple times this year. Um, the only reason I'm using these right now is I don't have any minnows. I actually planned on using some minnows underneath this bobber, but I guess we're going to be using some Power Bait today. So hopefully we can put some decent fish in the boat. I haven't had great success so far this year, but uh, we'll see if we can do it. All right, here we go. Crappie nibbles. I'm using a one, I believe it's a 164th ounce. It might be a 132nd ounce jig head. Throw on a couple crappie nibbles there. And then, oh, that's a mess. Hold on a second. This tangle brought to you by Monofilament Line. Monofilament Line. Pick them up at your local Cabela's, Bass Pro, or Walmart going on here? Oh, I do have a fish. It's a little cockeyed and it's crappie. There we go. Well, they're not big. Oh, good job, bud. These are probably, what are these guys? Seven, maybe eight inch fish. Uh, he's an eight and a half. There could be some bigger ones in mixed in there. That's the hope. Bigger than that. That is the hope. But I, I would not have been able to tell if that was a bite if I was using that heavier wobble bobber. I'm thinking that one's great if I'm using live minnows and it's a little windy. It's got a little more action. It stays above the water better. You can definitely tell when a strike hits on that in, in some wind. This one, if it's windy out, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see if this one, or I'll show you what I meant. So it was sitting in the water like this, but normally it sits up, the water line is right where this red mark is, but it was sitting up to the white, or the, not the white, the green. Oh, there it is, negative bite again. Man, uh, this is a smaller guy. Oh, he's throwing my crappie nibbles all over the place too. I can't believe they're suspended in, it's 18 feet. Yeah, he's a tiny guy. He's only about six inches. They're suspended in 18 feet of water right now. They're about 10 feet down. That's why I got the bobber set there. Here we go. Cast it out. I bet you all of them are going to be on that negative bite. Every single one of them is just going to come up from right underneath it. Bobber's just going to... I should get a second B-roll shot of this. That's what I should do. Oh, negative bite again. Yep, there he is. Oh, we're going the opposite way. We are going the wrong way here, folks. This is not good. We should be going bigger, not smaller. That's like a four and a half inch fish. Oops, oh, swinging it the wrong way. There we go. That That's not really good. Hopefully that eight and a half inch fish was not the biggest one of the bunch. Otherwise we're gonna have to be finding a different school. There he is. Yep. 
I don't know if he's a good one or not. A little bit better. Still searching for those 10 plus inch fish. Yeah, I don't know. He's seven. Not what we're looking for. Oh, there's one. I wasn't paying attention. Players. Oh, there is a fish there. Well, see, that one's bigger. That one I don't understand. This is probably another eight inch fish. I don't know, maybe the bigger ones are, that one's a little bit off the shelf here. Hmm. Oh, had one and I missed him. He didn't feel very big. We're gonna try to find a different school though. Cause this is not working. There's a fish. Nope, it's a crappie. Hey, quit throwing my crappie nipples, man. You're making me put them back on. Not the size I want, though. Yeah, waves are picking up a little bit, so it's kind of tough to tell if I got a bite or not. I think I just ripped off my crappie nibbles. It's getting tough. This pencil bobber definitely worked great when there's not a whole lot of wind, but when it starts picking up like this, it's tough to tell that, that sensitive bite. You almost have to go to just vertical jigging and casting out. There's a fish, there we go, finally. It took forever. These are not the fish I want though. Bunch of dinks. There's some fish. There we go. Man, these are all just seven inch fish. Well, we're gonna move. Cause I only got about an hour, hour-ish left of light here. And I don't think these are the big crappie that I want. I don't think the big crappie that I want are in here. Mixed with these guys. Oh. All right, here we go. Moved to a different side of the lake. Temp is dropping off a little bit. I think it's supposed to get down to like upper 30s tonight, which is crazy. Well, I'd like one last, just one solid crappie, 10, 10 inch crappie. Wouldn't be a slab, but it would be a nice fish. To end the night, I can go home, feel accomplished. Yeah. But if I don't get anything, it's been a nice night. Caught, caught quite a few crappie today. Oh, well, that would be a reason why they might not be biting. Maybe just put some more crappie nibbles on there. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for me today. Uh, unfortunately, did not catch the biggest fish, but a little pencil bobber. Mm, why is it focusing on my face? There we go, little pencil bobber. Uh, balsa wood, I recommend it. I'll link it below. You can click on that. And of course, the good old, the good old fashioned crappie nibbles. If it focuses, there we go. Perfect. All right, well, appreciate you watching as always. Um, no big fish, unfortunately. We'll let this guy go. Be sure to like and share the video. Comment down below if you tried these crappie nibbles. Let me know what you thought of them. I think they worked all right. No big fish, but I did catch quite a few today. Appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, below the video there's a red subscribe button, and then make sure you click that bell, okay? That notifies you every single time I post a video. YouTube hasn't been very good about that, so make sure you click that bell. Also, you, at the end of the video, you'll see my face holding a crappie. You can click on that to subscribe. We'll see ya. Oh, I got it on the lens. Am I just smearing the lens? I feel like I'm just smearing the lens.